I can't right now. My roommate is here. Shut up. What is stuff for? Uh, I don't know. I've never gotten that far. All right. Amine is one of the fastest growing streamers Twitch has seen Whoa! in a very long time. She I've went never from heard 50, of them. She followers to over half a million in just two months. However, w wait, that's insane, actually. Her popularity is a direct result of a major cheating scandal. The video game community is accusing Nadia of cheating at Call of Duty Warzone, which is the game she has spent 3,000 hours streaming. Cheating is a cardinal sin for gamers. Not only that, but Twitch and Call of Duty make it very clear that cheaters will be banned. This was she though? Was she banned? Or was they treated differently? scandal has led to some major backlash towards Nadia, but instead of folding to the pressure, she is leaning in, becoming the villain, and using the scandal as a marketing campaign for her social media platform. That's cringe, but okay. And it's working. So this begs the question, is she actually cheating? Well, it's complicated. There are a lot of clips what, in her- What do you mean it's complicated? It's, it's either she's good at the game or not. Go play against a pro player, see if she folds. Gameplay that look very unnatural. In this clip, her point of aim seems to jump to the target with speed and accuracy. Yeah, that's cheating. See, that is not human. That's not mm, possible. No. She's shooting at the guy on the right, and then it kind of glitches over to the left. And when that's a name bot right there. Nadia was asked to address this clip. This was her response. And is this something you've you've seen or like heard about before? Yeah, this, this is, is like, like a frame glitch, and I've seen it multiple times on different like streams. I mean, there's a guy who made a TikTok about it, saying that he doesn't cheat, and this happens to him. So yeah. Okay. All right, what, 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 what do we got to say for that? I don't know. Can you explain? I don't play the game. What exactly went down here? No. Like, it's just like a frame glitch. I have no idea, like, how this happens. She doesn't really say much. She just says it was a glitch. Just deny, deny, deny. Good move on her part, to be honest. No, it's a, it's a good move on her part. If you deny it, it's better than being like, oh, you know, like, oh, it's because of this and this. And honestly, she could be right. Her exposers use this clip and others to say that she has some sort of aim bot, which is essentially okay. a hack that you can install into your game that will auto Yeah, and then it'll automatically shoot to that person. It goes like <laughs> like across the fucking map. Automatically lock onto an enemy when you just kind of generally aim in the direction of one. Like mm -hmm. in this clip where it seems as if she is going to try and kill the enemy parachuting down from above, then she locks onto a totally different enemy that isn't even visible on the screen. There are also moments when she is shooting at walls for seemingly no reason, and then- You're telling me that's fucking normal, bro? Randomly shooting at walls? I've watched at least a hundred hours of Summit, G Summit 1G playing fucking PUBG and I've never seen that. Then there is conveniently an enemy on the other side of the wall. Yeah, suggesting man. that she has some Bro. kind of wall hack Come or a cheat on. that allows her to see through walls. But when she was asked about this clip, people did not like her response. How would you explain this to me? We'll watch it slow motion as well. Um, I feel like there's just like no information though. Like. Yeah, man. Oh, come it on. Cut the clip oh, really come short. On. People were saying that in this interview, she was looking very nervous or like she got caught, that she seemingly did not. If you're touching your face that much, yeah, it can be a sign of cheating or not cheating, lying. I know how to respond to the allegations. Maybe panic was setting in, but in her TikToks, she's extremely confident. Her attitude is entirely different. I am the number one best Call of Duty player, and this clip right here is the reason why. However, the world would find out if she was really cheating or not when she left the comfort of her own home and played at the Call of Duty next show. And guess what? She sucked ass! Whoa! No way! That's crazy! What? 
showcase, which was a LAN event. I will tell you no who fucking was way. me. Because how did I put my shoe underwater Fuck! in this pond and my foot Dad! didn't get wet at all? Okay, I'll admit I'm not cheating. I'm wearing vessies. Snow, rain, sleet, hail, slush, mud. Whatever the weather conditions, Vessi can handle it. Obviously, you'll never dip your foot entirely underwater for no reason, but it shows you how waterproof they really are. I mean, that's kind of cool. Made of not gonna lie. A dual climate Diamonds! That keep Yo, chat, buy these diamond shoes. Too cool in the summer and warm in colder weather. On top of that, they are lightweight and exceptionally comfortable. I hate the feeling of wanting... <laughs> okay, as someone who played a lot of CS, there are basically camping spots that you can shoot at through walls. It's common even. Her response is dumb, though. But this isn't CS, this is Call of Duty. Point invalidated. ...to wear a nice pair of shoes, <laughs> but choose not to because it might rain or it is raining. Now these black Chelsea boots are my go-tos for a night out with my girlfriend, no matter the weather. So you can go ahead and hit the rainy sidewalk in your weekend Chelsea boots Whoa! while heading to that evening dinner look at that! The crazy no edge! Check them out in the link edge. below. Jesse.com slash Patrick. For your Bessie, pair of these shoes. Nuts. Thanks, Bessie. LAN stands for Local Area Network. This is essentially a promotional event where streamers get together in the physical world and play the game under near perfect conditions. The participants play on computers provided by and set up by the event organizers. So yep. if you have cheats on your computer at home, you, you can't bring them over. That's why add ons also, there's a thing in WoW where in Arena you can't have add ons when you're playing at a LAN event have them at the LAN event before the event started, which all of the streamers stream live to obviously give the game promotion. She told uh -huh. her chat this. I was setting up TikTok and Twitch for like the entire time. So if you guys see me play like dog shit. Guys. Guys, come on. Who believes this shit? Guys, I was setting up, like, I understand being a little bit nervous. I, I totally get it. But why even bring it up? It's because, one, I haven't played at all. I, I have not touched it. A lot of people thought it was weird Cold. that she would say this, as if Cold. she is almost preemptively making an excuse that her gameplay would not be as good because she doesn't have her cheats. Throughout the event, her aim seemed to be generally much worse than when she's at home playing on her own computer. But this still Reason. doesn't really answer the question if she was cheating or not. I mean, everybody does have a bad game. She could have been nervous or genuinely yeah. rusty from not practicing up until the event. It was really her attitude towards the backlash. Yeah, not being in your own home can affect it too. No, I totally get what she's saying, but at the same time, don't bring it up. It's kind of like when you're already being accused of being a cheater, don't like put light on it. That convinced everyone that she was guilty. Just brush cheating. it off or it's something. An announcement to everyone who keeps writing mean things about me and saying that I. To be fair, there is a big difference between playing in comfy cum and at someone else's setup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there yeah. can't be a that huge difference. No, no, I, yeah, that's exactly what I was saying. Too slow? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I just want to say I'm sorry. And Face I aim but... I wouldn't know how to react as well if I was extremely insecure and dog shit at a video game. And then on top of that, seeing a woman do better than me. Wait, what the hell was that? Did you hear that? What was that? If I was extremely insecure. I just wanted to say I'm sorry. And I understand your frustration. Like crazy? I wouldn't know how to react as well if I was extremely insecure and dog shit at a video game. And then on oh, top of that, seeing oh, a woman... Oh, oh, it was the... <laughs> Wait, that was the sound effect in the video. I was like, who the fuck did that, huh? You better than me. Get so hard out. To accept, but just breathe in and understand that I am better and that you will never be making. Oh, here we go. I'm better than you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's like gonna this. make you look Nadia good. Her controversy into a big marketing campaign. Basically, every TikTok she posts starts with her baiting the viewer into thinking that she will address the cheating allegations. But then, instead of addressing the cheating, she just tells people to watch her live or comment <laughs> on this TikTok. She's she's stupid, but like in a nonchalant way. I kind of get it. It's, you know, the family that we watched that was really tall, but they were, they were duping everyone to, uh, to, into thinking that they were really tall, but they're like just a little bit above average in terms of height and not like, you know, seven foot plus. 
yeah it's the same principle and on tiktok people don't care because the more people comment on it the more rage bait there is like the more attraction it gets talk clip this is the clip that exposed me for hacking there's a rumor going around that i'm not allowed to play in tournaments because i'm cheating to all the people who still claim i am hacking i am live right now showing all of my monitors while i play a lot of people have been saying i'm using a foot pedal to enable my aimbot so i am live right now doing a foot camera my account just got Huh? 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 What? For free? <laughs> Whatever happened to show? Don't tell? Isn't that what most players do? She's... To enable my aimbot. So I am live right now doing a foot camera. <laughs> My account just got banned by Call of Duty. Now I have no choice but to cut the act and tell the truth. I am hacking. That was cut off. What I was going to say is I'm having a new account made for me. It's time to address the cheating. This is so This is really good bait, man. This is really, really good bait. She's a class A masturbator. Alana, we need model for cam. We need uh, a, a, a cam of me, of your basement. Of the basement, the mod basement. Allegations. Now, this is for all the boys uh -huh. who keep commenting that I'm using a Cronosen walls aimbot. I do have something to admit to you guys. That I am a thousand times better than you, and you guys can... <laughs> Two out of ten clap back. Look, I've been streaming for five hours. It's, I'm, I'm running on a fumes, okay? Cut me some slack. I know, I know. My, my my brain's chugging right now. We're we're doing it. <laughs> I got no clap back. I'm out of I'm out of steam. I need a refuel. I cannot accept that a girl can just be good at video games. She understands. Oh my god, Chen, you'll never see me play video games because you're never gonna comprehend how good I am at video games. That most people want to see her get exposed. She leans yeah. into being the villain, doubling down, claiming she is the best female COD player in the world. She's okay. using that to get more engagement, more followers, more subscribers, and ultimately, more money. Even Ninja called her a marketing genius for leaning into the cheating. Yeah, 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 she's really good. I think I think she's really smart in that regard. I want to see her stats uh, after this. Nadia, I think she's a freaking marketing genius. She's leaning into the whole cheating thing. And there are a shitload of people, aka just men who are freaking that out and getting her an incredible amount of attention, posting yep. every single time they kill her. It's working yep. flawlessly. Before this yep. controversy, her TikToks would average 10K to 50K views. And she, it's not that bad, but this is like millions that she had. She would stream to an average of less than 200 viewers. Once she started That's dating people, that's still not that bad, but okay. I mean, I get it. With the controversial intros, she exploded up to half a million followers on Twitch, streaming to an Holy average of 4,500 viewers. To all the people who still claim I am hacking, I am live right now showing all of my monitors while I play. Chat, I'm live right now. I'm showing my face right now. now. Sometimes she actually puts an additional camera on her setup to prove that she doesn't use any cheats, but the commenters will say she is using a VPN to get into bot lobbies, which are essentially games where you play against other people that are not even close to your skill level. What? You can do that? Wait, what? You can do that? Bro, that is so insane. I didn't know that. Which is something that other streamers do Bot to lobbies. essentially make themselves look better at the game. Basically, no matter I what she that. does, no matter how much proof she tries to provide, the naysayers will figure out a way to justify in their minds that she is cheating. But maybe she is, in fact, cheating. And if she is... What do you mean, maybe? <laughs> what do you mean, maybe? Why hasn't she been banned from Call of Duty? People are banned for using cheats every single day. Even streamers <laughs> have been banned in the past. For example, Mr. Golds was found to be cheating and was promptly banned from Warzone. Mm-hmm. What's even crazy is that if there were to finally be hard evidence that she's cheating, there are dozens of accounts that would become irrelevant since they're all dedicated to proving she's cheating. Yeah, it's a little ecosystem. They all make drama out of each other. Um, it's, it's almost, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um... Not self-fulfilling, um, uh, the ecosystem, uh, symbiotic, that was it, thank you, symbiotic. 
and even had his Somebody Twitch channel it. suspended because of it. Stupid. In March of this year, yeah, the I mean, official it is, Call of Duty Twitter account That's besides the point. 90,000 accounts were removed in ban waves this week. 90,000 in nothing. one week. So they certainly... That's nothing. 90,000 is nothing. If you have millions online, 90,000 is like fucking just dirt. They <laughs> have the capability to identify You're fried? cheaters Fuck you! and get them off the game. If Nadia is so blatantly cheating, you, as many people bitch. think, why wouldn't she be banned? Especially being someone who is likely much more high profile than anyone caught in that night. Because it's free publicity? What do you fucking mean? Huh? 90,000 ban wave. Could Call of Duty be turning a blind eye to Nadia because of the value she brings to the game? Having yeah. 4,000 people watch her yeah. play the game on Twitch, getting yeah. millions of impressions on TikTok. Why do you think they don't ban bots in World of Warcraft? Because they pay them $15 a month. Duh! And YouTubers making videos calling her out is all free Because she's a woman? Code. No, man, that's not why. I know, like, people love pulling the woman card, but it's because she makes them money. And brings attention to their fucking dog shit game. Warzone. Keeping people talking about her and their game, even with the negative connotations, is generally good for them. If she Bye, is Violet. cheating, this would also break the Twitch community guidelines. Video games' initial success and long-term retention of the player base is somewhat reliant on Twitch these days. Before playing a new game, many yep. people will go over to Twitch to get a closer look at the gameplay before downloading it and trying it themselves. So if Nadia was proven to be cheating, and was banned by Call of Duty, then she would also be proven to have broken Twitch's community guidelines. And it's so easy to cheat in this game too. It's crazy. Lines, ...which should lead to a ban there as well, but that didn't happen. So either Twitch doesn't want to suspend her because she's about to make them a ton of money and they're currently yeah, in hot water, shit. and Call of Whoa. Duty doesn't want to ban her because of all the free promotion she's bringing to the game. Or simply, they are not banning her because they already looked into it and she isn't cheating. However, okay. whether she is cheating or not, Nadia yeah, and I have a house on the moon. Is yeah, not sure, up to whatever. Her original mission mm -hmm. of changing the stigma against female gamers. In addition to the doubts people had of me being a female, I hope that women will look up to me and believe they can do the same without the stigma. <laughs> then don't do this baity shit and just be good at the game, man. I hate this so much. If you're just good at the game, nobody will care. But you have so enough. much against you. The, the, the fact that she was shooting through a wall is just blowing my no mind. It's that gaming is a male-dominated industry. Twitch streamers and influencers have worked hard to reduce the stigma against female gamers, that they are not good or don't belong in the community. Nadia being successful is probably inspirational for female gamers, but if she is yeah, actually cheating- I'd, I'd dispel that idea. If you have a modicum of like, like for me, this isn't even a woman thing. If this was a guy on the screen saying that he's, oh, I'm not cheating, you guys. I went to a LAN event and I play like dog shit. I don't play like anything like I do when I'm streaming. And then the wall hacking accusations, like it's just like, <laughs> okay, man, okay, okay. I, I would still do it if it was a male. Then she is disrespecting all other female gamers by bragging about being the best female Warzone player. Yeah. This clip right here proves it's why I am the best female Warzone player. If she is not cheating, then- Go play in a tournament, go in a smaller tournament. Go play against a 16 year old kid who's in the same MMR bracket as you that you claim to be in and prove them wrong. Or don't stream it, make someone record it. I used to do that during MW 2019 days cause the TTK was super fast. I deep pre-fire corners that people could be camping in cause fractions of a second could be the difference between a kill or a gray screen. Okay, but on the other hand, that was her running through like it was an open room right where she was shooting at them but then they could see that there was a guy behind the other wall like i know i, I know what you're saying but it doesn't make sense if you have three thousand hours played in the game on stream alone like you can map out like the the maps in your head it's, it was in the middle of a wall where the guy was sitting behind it and it looked really, really fucking bad.
Why is it not playing? Hello? Leaning into it and attaching herself to the scandal perpetuates this narrative that gamer girls are more likely to be cheaters. Now, to mm -mm, be fair, mm -mm, the community mm -mm. is going extra hard on exposing her. This guy, Bad Boy Beeman's whole channel is dedicated Bad to exposing boy. cheaters in video games. Yeah, it's like, like I said, it's a little ecosystem they have here. Men and women, but the videos on Nadia get the most views, and he once uploaded seven videos in a row just on Whoa. her. Now, we can't hold Nadia accountable for the reaction of the game. Cheating community, bitch. No matter how toxic they are. <laughs> However, we can't really feel bad for her when she is constantly baiting people on the internet and leaning into the controversy. Yeah. I mean, even if Call of Duty themselves made a statement that they looked into the situation and confirmed that Nadia is not a cheater, nobody would believe it. They would think that Call of Duty and Nadia are in some sort of cahoots together. The damage has already been done. She will forever be known as this. So I guess I don't blame her for just trying to capitalize on- Well, she leaned into it again. Like, I don't know. Start over or something. <laughs> Too bad, bitch. That was a pretty good video, though. I did not know anything about this trick. Yeah. Let me see, though. Which tracker, Nadia? Is she still relevant? This is from a year ago. Has she fallen off? Oh, yikes. I'm pretty hard here. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, we did a little bit of hot tubs and uh, pool, pools and hot tubs. Huh? Eh, we did a little hot tub streaming here and there, yeah? 88 hours? Mmm, interesting. Okay, okay, respectable. Yep, yep. She doesn't stream very often. She used to stream a lot, and then she kind of fucking fell off. I'm saying the word fell off loosely. She's not actually. Like, she's still doing really, really good. Mm -mm -mm. Mommy! Piss, piss, piss. Shit! Piss, 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 piss. Fuck, 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 fuck. What the fucking shit on calm. Piss myself. Fuck, 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 fuck. Piss, fuck, piss, 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 pi